Hello guys, good morning. Welcome back to my kitchen. I'm Valerie. Now, I decided yesterday that I wanted to make some steel cut oats. Now, steel cut oats is very, it's a very hard grain. It's way harder than the quick oats that we're accustomed to making. Therefore, when I do my steel cut oats, here is some steel cuts steel cut oats here this is what it actually looks like here is the grain this is what it looks like and it's pretty hard as i said so generally when i do it i usually like to put it in my slow cooker <clears throat> overnight now i did put some in my slow cooker i went to bed after midnight i think maybe about three o'clock this morning so it has been cooking now for about three maybe for about seven to eight hours and i came down earlier this morning just to check on it because i could smell it from upstairs anyways i measured out two cups two cups of steel cut oats and four, eight cups of water. The grains will absorb a lot of water. So you have to make sure you have enough water in. Now, when I came down this morning, I changed the setting from high to low. And right now it's looking good. <clears throat> what I'm going to do to finish it up is just to add a little cinnamon, a little nutmeg and half and half one cup organic almond milk and one cup organic soy milk it's all in here with a little dash of pure vanilla extract so I'll just go ahead and open up my pot add all those lovely ingredients in give it a stir, cover it back, and then leave it to finish doing its thing. Okay, so this is what it looks like right now. It's getting pretty creamy because it has had all that time in the slow cooker <clears throat> to get cooked down and it is very soft. <clears throat> now any oat is good for you but steel cut oats is actually chock full of fibers so it is better for you than quick oats but i know quick oats is convenient because i actually use it too a lot okay so that's my cinnamon just about a teaspoon and nutmeg about a half a teaspoon I'm going to give it a little stir here. And generally when we make oatmeal back home, when my mom made oatmeal, she would put um, the sweetening agent, which is usually brown sugar, in. But I usually don't put any type of sweetener in my porridge when I'm making them. I allow the person who is drinking it to decide how much sugar they want. So that's the soy and the almond. And I'm just going to give it a good stir here. I had already put a little dash of pink salt in when I initially put the steel cut oats to start cooking in the slow cooker before I went to bed. So check this out. See how it's starting to look creamy. Now we're a family of four. Some people like honey in their porridge and some people like brown sugar. I take a little honey in my porridge. So that's it. Leave it without the sweetener and then whoever is drinking it will decide what they want. So now 
I'm gonna cover the slow cooker back and I'm just gonna push it in towards the back so I can get the front of the counter to work with and it, I'm gonna turn it back up to high and then in uh, maybe about half an hour to an hour when I'm finishing finished everything else it should be ready to go so see you on the other side with the seal cut oatmeal here we are guys my steel cut oats is done and I have shared up a bowl and I've shared up a few bowls for my family so we're sitting down to have our brunch and I think the steel cut oats is very creamy and I won't say it's delicious because that would be floating my own boat or sailing my own ship so well i can say it is it is okay thank you very much so that's a commendation from across the table the hubby says that it's delicious so that's a good thing guys silky smooth I like silky it. smooth so try cooking your steel cut oats in your slow cooker overnight and i'll just put the ingredients that i used in the video so you can know exactly what to do so thank you guys so much for watching my videos for subscribing if you haven't subscribed and you're watching this video please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit that notification button so you can be notified of new videos and if you like the videos please give a thumbs up and tell somebody about them see you in the next video